The DevExpress Upload Control for Silverlight is a powerful file upload component that offers a number of advanced features such as uploading multiple files, specifying the maximum number of simultaneous uploads, maximum file size, file filters, and much more. In this video, you'll learn how to get started using the Upload Control for Silverlight, so let's take a look. I'll start with a new instance of Visual Studio. From the Start page, I click the New Project link. Here, I'll select Silverlight and click on the Silverlight application template. Next, I'm presented with the new Silverlight application window. I'll leave the first item checked so that a new website project is created to host the Silverlight application. I click OK and the projects are created and populated accordingly. From the toolbox, I'll drag and drop a new upload control to the page and set it to fill the entire available area. Let's take a look at the XAML and slightly update the name of the control. Next, I need to add a generic handler to the web project so files can be uploaded and saved to the server. To do this, I select the ASP.NET application project, add a new item to the project. I switch to the web template category and select the generic handler item. I'll call it upload handler and add it to the project. Within the web project, I'll also create an empty images folder which will later be used to save the uploaded image files. As I'll be working with files, the first thing I'll add to the new handler is the system.io namespace. Next, I'll remove the existing code within the handler and define the properties that I'll need throughout the application. This includes file path, file name, etc. Next, the process request method is implemented and it will be called every time a new package is received from the client. You can see that this method is calling two other ones that haven't been implemented yet. So let's go ahead and add those as well. The process query string method takes the query string and breaks it up into the properties we created earlier. Finally, the process file method reads data from the input stream and writes it to the specified location on the server. We're almost done. Let's switch over to the XAML markup of the application and add a few properties to the upload control. Notice that to keep this example simple, I'm referencing the handler using a direct URL. As it stands, this will need to be updated every time as the development server launches on different ports. But in a production environment, the URL can be set to a physical address. The Upload Server Path property, of course, specifies where the uploaded images should be saved on the server. Finally, the File Upload Completed event, as its name implies, triggers when the upload has finished. I'll specify a reference to the system.windows.media.imaging namespace. Finally, I'll add the code to load and display the uploaded images at runtime. Now, let's run the application to see the results. I click on the highlighted area and select an image file to upload. Once uploaded, you can see the image is previewed as a thumbnail. I can also select to upload multiple files at once. By clicking the X button, I can remove which thumbnails are displayed in the upload control. Now let's see if these files were actually saved. I close the browser and return to Visual Studio. I'll click the Images folder and select to display all files. You can see that the once empty folder has now been populated with the image files we just selected for upload at runtime. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.